friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, a look at world weather. Looking here at the last 48 hours on our sun, noticing last night our solar x-ray flux was ramping right up, and sure enough, we had a elongated M-class solar flare, luckily not in an earth-facing position, but you can definitely see it in the incoming cresting limb. Looking at the incoming imagery, the last 48 hours, that hyperactive region which I showed yesterday set off a series of M-class flares, and one of them was very long. Looking at outgoing imagery here, not much to talk about or show except for some plasma filaments and minor CME. Minor CME is visible on the ISWA space prediction spiral. Having a closer look here at the M-class solar flare. Multiple M-class solar flares. Hyperactive region coming in. To an earth facing position in a couple days so stay tuned to daily events worldwide looking at multi-spectrum here all of the events and 171 angstroms here where we show coronal holes which are the darkened regions center of the disc and northward stretching to the pole in the last few images there amazing Looking here at A1A. So we have that active cresting northern sunspot region. We also have in the southern hemisphere coming in as well. Looking at Lasco 2, showing all of the energy projected from our sun the last 48 hours. As we've had multiple M class solar flares. Minor CME. Amazing images. Having a look here at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, M-class solar flare, uh, flare range. Geomagnetic activity is in KP4 range. Looking here at the DB absorption map. And you can see that long pulse that is electromagnetic frequency and interference. Looking here at the Aurora forecast for the next 48 hours. Most of Northern Europe and Eastern Europe will be seeing pretty intense geostorm and as well Northern Ontario tonight. Looking at the real time solar wind, we're sitting at about 570 kilometers per second if we are jacked up to about 583 kilometers per second, still watching the density bunches really dance inside, north and south pole polarities hopping. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 25, a low hum across the planet right now. Take a quick moment here to say happy Easter to everybody. Happy Good Friday. Hope you're all enjoying a time with family. Amplitude of 25, quality of 8.9, power of 15. Well, let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours as it's been pretty busy, especially in Hawaii. We're going to start out here in Hawaii where earlier today they had a 4.6 earthquake and just recently they had a 4.3. The island of Hawaii, the southeast rift, many earthquakes through the region. Having a quick look here at the Kilauea Summit Caldera. Very active lava lake today, especially with all of the seismicity through the region. Overlooking Alaska. Largest earthquake to report, 3.8. King Cove, Alaska. Across the United States, 4.6 here. El Sazal, BC, Mexico, San Diego area. People in the live stream yesterday or this morning saying they felt that as well of Ferndale 2.6 2.6 here in Asaria, Kansas 
as well as Anniston, Missouri. That's the New Madrid. 4.1 earthquake here. Leventa, Mexico, Mexico, and really quiet through the Caribbean. Puerto Rico only with minor earthquakes. South American plate, largest through the region, was a 5.3 in Tocopila, Chile, 65 kilometer depth, as well as Calama seeing a 4.4 and a 4.9, and Copiapa, Chile, 4.4. South Sandwich Islands, reporting a 5.1 here, 64 kilometer depth. African plate, pretty quiet. Europe, largest through the region was Augusta, Italy, with a 4.5 earthquake just south of Etna. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on Mount Etna. Germ, Afghanistan, 209 kilometer depth, 4.0, as well as 4.9 here. Indonesia, 66 kilometer depth. Deepest earthquake today, 274 kilometer depth, 4.4 in Marie, Indonesia, as well as 5.1 there. Kimb, Papua New Guinea, followed by a 4.8. And our largest earthquake today, a 5.4, Port Vila, Benoatu. Minor activity heading through Japan, four points. Nothing major to report there. Having a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. USGS reporting right now 275 earthquakes across the planet. Volcano Discovery always reports just a bit more. Sitting at about 450 earthquakes as they include Europe. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. As we have been active interrupting 48 volcanoes across the planet. And just today, they were updating Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. As well, Raventador in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Fuego, Guatemala, Decono in Indonesia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Simaru, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Shivalich in Russia. Nevada to Chilean, Colombia. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today. Watch, as I said, watch for Mount Etna over the next couple days. Overlooking satellite imagery across the world. Pretty big low pressure system still lingering over most of Canada and North America right now. We've also got that huge Malacas, Typhoon Malacas, West Pacific, and as well a very big system Heading into Alaska right now. Watch for an uptick in seismicity the next couple days. Atmospheric compression earthquakes do exist. Tropical Storm Malacas is now a Category 2 hurricane or typhoon. And heading northeast, south of Japan. Overlooking the rest of the world, we did have some very strong winds. Special weather statements were put out across Ontario today. As we had 35 to 85 kilometer per hour winds. Looking at the forecast models here the next couple days, we're going to see some very windy systems heading into the Atlantic provinces and as well BC coastline. Let's have a look at Ventu Sky, your five day forecast. As that system moves northeast into the Atlantic provinces, watch for another system to head in off of the Pacific Northwest. Cooler temperatures across eastern parts, Canada. Snow falling in northern states, northeastern states, and then into Ontario for the 19th into the 20th, and then watch for an extreme weather event across southeastern United States and right up the coastline. Big system coming through there. As well, B.C., Watch for two low pressure systems heading for you in the next four days. We've got an Alberta clipper here that will bring snow through Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Ontario. And a lot of rain with that 
later system heading into the West Coast, California, and Oregon. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on this system coming in on the 19th to the 20th. And then got the same pattern reoccurring in the extra long range forecast overlooking South America. No major weather systems affecting you. Daily evaporation rains mostly. Same with Africa. Still have this forecast low pressure system heading just east of Madagascar. Doesn't look like it's going to hit Mauritius now with this forecast model. Looks like it's going to penetrate the east coast of Madagascar and just race itself down the coastline. Overlooking Southeast Asia. No major weather systems developing in the long range. Overlooking Australia. Got an extreme weather event heading your way to northeastern parts. Brisbane, New South Wales and as well all across eastern Australia. Watch for this convergence line to bring moisture straight across the continent. As well a system heading into New Zealand for the 18th into the 19th. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your work daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.